goes the train. I'm right here in Johnson City, Tennessee. It's a pretty good sized train. If you hear any noise, I'm screwing my tripod to the bottom of my GoPro Hero 9 Black. So that will be what you might hear. Uh, at home, I'm right here in Johnson City, downtown, on this um, marvelous or terrific Tuesday. This guy just walked right by me. He's homeless. And, and don't get me wrong, hey, I got a big heart for homeless people. If I was a millionaire, I'd help a lot of people, but I'm not a millionaire. But he was like, uh, I'm homeless. And he, he asked me what I was doing standing around. Cause I've been standing around. I was freeing up a bunch of storage on my phone. And I said, well, I might go up here in a minute and have a beer at the bar, right? And he said, uh, do you got any money? I said, no, I just got my bank card on me. I said, I'm not going to ATM, draw no money out of, to give you no money out of the bank. But my long story short, let me put my camera down. I will put it on this park bench. But it's not, it's not a park bench, it's a bench right outside the road. And, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to the ATM to draw no money out to give you. Uh, if I had probably had a couple dollars on me, I probably would have gave him a couple dollars. But 95% of the time, I just have my bank card. It's not good to, I guess you could say, have a lot of money on it at any given time, especially if you're out walking around doing vlogs for a YouTube channel. But yeah, he was standing right here beside me, right beside his mailbox. And I was like, well, I might go have a beer in a minute at a bar. He said, well, I wouldn't mind having a beer. But you could, I said, how long you been homeless? He said, six years. So, you know, and he said, if you want, I told him I'd do YouTube videos. He was toting some wood and he had a nice clothes and a backpack. And he said, well, if you want, he said he had a bunch of wood in a dumpster down the street. He said, uh, right here beside me is a Good Samaritan Ministries right here in Johnson City. But he said, if you want to, I've got a bunch of wood down here in the dumpster and I will set it on fire. And you can record it for your, your YouTube channel. I went to train. I said, no, I don't think I want to record it for my YouTube channel. So... Some of these uh, people who are homeless there, you know, they have a level head, a good mind, and you can tell some of them has, you know, some mental problems. And, you know, I feel sorry for homeless people. You know, anybody, I guess, if they lost their jobs, you don't got a lot, you know, a lot of friends or family, you can end up homeless. If you don't have no money in the bank or whatever, anyway, just support yourself. But he said right down the street here, he has a bunch of wood in the dumpster. He said, I set it on fire, and you can record that for your YouTube video. And then he started, he was a decent looking person, had nice clothes on and stuff. And then he started eating his own boogers. I ain't lying. That's a good looking little, you know, young man. But like me, he was probably about, I don't know, had to guess, 28 years old. So I'm right here at Buffalo, Water and Buffalo Street at the red light. And the train went that way, but I'm going this and go back this way. And on the right side of the road is the Good Samaritan Ministries. Now, 95% of the time where I normally film, is right down here, right back down here, where uh, Watauga Brewing Company is. That's the normal, normal where I film, and that's where I park. I park right up the street here. Uh, I don't know, a quarter of a mile at the Greyhound bus station. There's a bunch of free parking there where, for the public, and that's where I park. This is Good Samaritan Ministries. I think that's kind of like the Salvation Army where they help people. But, uh, I really wasn't doing, planning on doing, you know, much of a video today, but I will do some video. And back here's where the John City sign is normally on where I, I film at. Back this way, uh, West Market Street. Here's the Renaissance, uh, Renaissance Bank. And, uh, and I've never filmed up this way. I might walk up to that red light. And back down here is the the Atlantic Beach Bar and the Go Rum Bar and Burrito and back to walk Toggle Brewing Company and that's where, like I said, 95% of the time when I walked in uh, John City, that's where I walk. I'm going to place my camera on top of this mailbox. I've got to button my sleeve up. It's, it's popped loose. And I was going to go in here and ask these people, it looks like on the side of the building, what kind of support, you know, how they help people. It says Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 PM. Like I said, I think that's like the Salvation Army. They help people with food and clothes and shelter. 
and it also says right here on the side of the building free legal advice so i'm going to stop the video place the camera right here button up my sleeve i'll be back shortly i'm right here in uh, downtown john city tennessee hope everyone's having a terrific tuesday i'm glad to see my georgia bulldogs uh beat the uh, alabama alabama crimson tide last night i'll be back later alligators well let's walk on up this way i'm using my little five inch tripod let me get my hand adjusted because if i don't the plastic legs on the bottom of it could make noise i'm trying to get a, a decent grip where i want the camera right here should do it so let's walk on my friends i'm using my gopro hero 9 black 4k 60 frames per second linear field of view horizon leveling like i said that's the only where i walk back this way i just left down here to railroad tracks y'all saw the little train and uh, let's walk up this way i'm walking up north Rhone street here's the old building Hope everyone's having a terrific Tuesday. I am. I'm happy, positive, and focused. I'm energetic, persuasive, dynamic, influential, charismatic, intelligent, rambunctious. Got a sense of humor, and I love life. It says right here, Mana House Thrift Store. Mana House Thrift Store. Hello. It's a thrift store. I might go in there and look around. I'm at the intersection of North Rome Street and East Millard Street. Millard Street's that way and this way. And this is the Johnson City Public Library. Now I know where it's at. This is the first time I've actually been here. It's just right down the street where I normally would blog. And looking back at Johnson City, isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. How you doing? Across the street, this is a beautiful church. It's a nice looking library. This is quite looks like it's a pretty good sized library, like a big library. of churches back to back here one church you know i say let me see what this says it says something about the church i can't read the small print print on the doorway over there that's a nice looking church here's another beautiful church and another church next these two have got a lot of rock in it especially that third one down here on the right here's the church bells can you hear the church bells And this is where I came from. It's beautiful here in Johnson City. <clears throat> we'll walk around the building. It's a big building. It really is. Look here. And you, you can walk. Come down this archway right here. The way we came from. You can walk this way. The Johnson City Public Library. And we will walk up there to where the churches are and I will stop the video because I wasn't really going planning on doing a lot of videoing but right here it says no trespassing no loitering <clears throat> look here beautiful steps I love the way this library is structured and looking back here we can look back towards downtown absolutely beautiful plenty of benches Let's walk in here and see what this says right here. There's two signs. <clears throat> Think like a pollinator. It has a picture, a photo of a bee. I know I'm all in the uh, shade uh, or the light. It has a picture of a bee, a photo of a bee. Think like a pollinator and it's talking about plants and 
stuff like that. And over here it says stormwater infra infiltration bed. That's a nice, beautiful little park. That's just pretty decent size. And then right down the street is Founders Park. We have a big Christmas tree here. The Johnson City, Tennessee sign. And this is the front side of the library, I guess you could say. See right here? Johnson City Public Library. Right. They got Christmas decorations in the windows. I'll be back shortly. Thanks for walking along with me right here in lovely Johnson City, Tennessee. There was a man and his dog walking his dog. Beautiful dog. All right, well, let's go back around this side. Walk up the steps. How you doing? Good, All right. Everyone, a motorcycle. Here's the one church across the road I've seen you about. And I'm gonna stay on this side, that way we can see better. But I'm impressed with this library here. When I'm next time I'm down here, I will go inside probably. So I do like this church. Looking back, it's a very beautiful town. I love Johnson City. Here's another church building. This one's called Central Baptist Church. And I don't know what the other one is right next door. But I'm going to walk up to that second red light and I'm going to stop filming. Because I'm kind of getting burnt out on doing a lot of videos. Uh, I guess that happens. I've been on YouTube since February of 2016. And I have recorded over 2,000 videos. And uploaded over 2,000 videos to YouTube. Not counting Facebook. My old channel got hacked. I had four, about 4,400 subscribers. Now I'm back up to 2,200. I was on there from February 2016 on my old channel. From February 2016 to June of 2020, my channel got hacked. I had 4,400 subscribers. Now I've been back on YouTube with my new, well, I, bet I haven't stopped filming. My new channel has been posted for eight, 19 months. I'm up to 2,200 subscribers. So it is what it is. So. I've been on there for what six years next month and I have filmed so many videos like I said over 2,000 videos and that's a beautiful church I like I was thinking let me see that it was two churches this is one church I think it is it's one big church I like it see the rock face and uh I, I probably will go ahead and walk all the way down to that other uh, uh, red light this is probably a uh, transformer. And this is the other side of Johnson City Public Library. If you're looking back towards Johnson City, like I said, I'm very impressed with this town. It's very beautiful. This is a huge library. So let's go ahead and walk up to the, it says I can walk, walk up to the next red light. This church right here is called St. John's, Epis John's Episcopal, Episcopal Church. My mouth's dry, I'm about dehydrated. It's very beautiful. I love how it's got big rocks, natural looking. It does, has natural rocks for the uh, side of the building. I don't know what kind of building this is. There's some other kind of building. And right next door it says Agape, or Agape, Agape Waters Community, a rehabilitation and, and skilled nursing center. A rehabilitation and nursing center next door. I guess that's to help people who has been injured. But look, I'm very impressed with this church. Look at it. Very beautiful. Kind of like me. Now this is the intersection of North Rhone Street and East Myrtle Street. North Com Road, it says North Rome Complex Center, however what that is. 
different office, offices, I guess. It says da Dr. David or something, Frizzle, CPA. And here is the Agape, or Agape, Agape Waters Community, the Rehabilitation Center right over there, I guess, this building. I don't know. We can, actually, you come in right here, and this is the center right here. This whole area is the Agape uh, Waters Community. It's a very big uh, building complex. A Gate Waters Community Rehabilitation and Skilled Nursing Center, John City, Tennessee. And I'm not sure what that building is. It looks like apartments over there. And there's another building. Uh, it's an old building. It looks very, very beautiful. I will walk. I will go ahead and walk up there. But I love this town. Let's go ahead and walk up there, my friends. I can see my shadow on the ground. It's, even though it's sunny, it's still quite cold. If I had to guess, I'd say 45, 47 degrees. How you doing? She, she, she didn't like it because I'm uh, recording. She'll get over it. That's what I do. I'm a YouTube vlogger. You can't whoop me because I got a big mouth. I got big arms. I live in the south. And I'm pretty sure that's what that is. This is the Ear Technology Support Center. How y'all doing? And these guys that just walked by me, real, real tall. Let me show you. I mean, real, real tall. And that's, that's that Episcopal Church right there. And this is the back side of it. If you look, if you look right here, see the structure of it? Very uniquely designed. I like the architects architecture of this building these guys turn around and looked at me but hey if anybody are, <clears throat> i've seen them people before i think that one guy, guy might be homeless i've talked to him before down there at the park but anyway if anybody ever messes with me do i have protection yes you know i'm five six two twenty twenty two inch arms i'm strong as a bull but i've run up on some crazy people while i'm vlogging I've got a right to vlog. I always carry pepper spray. Police issue. And it works, trust me. So, always be so aware of your surroundings. You know, I'm not going to stop my videos just because somebody walks by me. You know, it is what it is. But anyway, <clears throat> people don't like it when you're filming, but hey, I got a right to film in public. You cannot be in public and think you got an expectation of privacy. It don't work that way. That's a beautiful old building. And you can tell it's been redone. It's got, looks like new brick. Uh, not necessarily a, a reconditioned brick. And I'm going to stop at this red light, like I said. This is the market and convenience store. I'll probably go in here and get me something to drink. I'm getting thirsty. Now I'm at the intersection of a, I'm walking down North Rhone Street. I'm at the intersection of North Rhone Street and East Watauga Avenue. And that's a nice old building too, right across the street. I don't have time to film everything. And I, this, so this is the section of, uh, I'm about, I don't know, a half a mile from where I normally film in John City. So it looks like old service station right here. And there is some kind of ghetto-ish looking hood sections of John City. Like we got a small area in Tennessee. I mean, uh, Kingsport. But I've never had problems with it. But hey, you got to watch it. You got to be aware of your surroundings. Because I've ran upon some rough people in certain areas. John City, I've never had any problems. Kingsport, I've had maybe run into two crazy people. Didn't like because I was filming, wanted to fight me. Here comes that guy that was behind me earlier, I think, with the backpack. It is picking, picking his nose and eating his own boogers. Uh, and I'm not lying about that. All right, I'm going to stop my video. Thanks for watching the YouTube channel.
please like comment subscribe as always i'm going downtown i'm having a beer thank give me a thumbs up if you like my video share my videos help me to grow right here on the big o show leaving comments give me a thumbs up helps my uh videos the more comments the more views you know it kicks the alg algorithm in on youtube and you get more views you know you there's like over 36 million uh, youtube channels so it's i'm competing against 36 million other channels i will see you all in the next video thanks for walking along with me my friends big o's out